Today we're going to take a look at and show you how to install the e-trailer hub and drum assembly for the 7,000 pound easy lube axles. Part number is AKHD-865-7-2-EZ-K. Now our kit's going to contain everything we're going to need for basically one half of an axle. We're looking at brakes that are sized at 12 inches by 2 inches thick. That's what this is designed to fit. And the bolt pattern will have eight studs, and these are on what they call a six and a half inch bolt pattern. So if that matches the hubs that are on your trailer, this is going to be a great fit for you. You see we've got the machine surface where the magnet from our brake is going to ride. It's going to be nice and smooth. A lot of times you'll see wear in these areas, and over time it's going to lose the pressure because it's not a nice even surface. And then of course the outer area here is where our shoes are going to expand out and that's what gives us our braking pressure again. You want to check that out and make sure it's nice and smooth that you don't have any ridges or anything like that in it. If you do, that's kind of when time for replacement comes into play. We also have the inner bearing. This is a 25 580 and we've got the outer bearing which is a 14 125A. We're going to have the new seal so we can have everything inside of there contained, keep our grease in place. The seal is going to give us new lug nuts and we're even going to get the new dust cover. This is going to be for the easy lube style hub so we can pop that rubber cap off and easily access the Greek cirque located behind it. Now the only thing you'll be keeping from your old hub is going to be your nut, the washer that goes in behind it or the bushing that goes in behind it and the keeper. Now this is a castle nut, so we're just going to use a new cotter pen to go through it. Some of them are going to have a metal keeper that kind of clip over it. So if yours has that, be sure to hang on to it so you can reuse it. To get started, we'll pack both of our bearings full of grease. Now you can use a bearing packer. There's several different methods. I usually just use a wad of grease in my hand, grab onto the bearing, and start working it around, pushing that grease in between the two, the inner and the outer portion of the bearing keeper there. We're gonna work one spot until we see the grease come all the way through, and we'll start working in a circle from there, going all the way around. Once we have those properly greased, we'll take the larger one, that's gonna go in the back side of the hub. And then we've got our seal that's gonna fit in behind that. Now when placing your seal in, I'd like to use a seal driver this one's from Performance Tool, part number is PTW83020. That allows you just to have a flat surface where you can kind of tap all the way around. As another option, if you don't have a seal driver around, you can also use a block of wood and just kind of tap on the back of that. You really don't want to hit directly on the seal with your hammer, you might damage it. Now before we put this in place, I like to take a good amount of grease and we want to fill in all the way around between our outer race here and our inner bearing. That's just going to save you a lot of time on the grease gun, trying to get this filled up with grease through the easy lube. Now we'll get that slid right on our spindle there. Make sure it goes all the way in. Place on the outer bearing, the washer we saved, and we'll thread on that castle nut. So you just use a pair of slip joint pliers. We want to get that tightened all the way down. It's going to be hard to turn at that point. That just helps to seat everything in there. And we'll back it off a little bit. And then you want to just make sure you don't have any in and out play. It turns more freely there. Now in our case, since ours uses a castle nut, we'll have a cotter pin we're going to place through. If yours uses a keeper or whatever method for securement it used, just put that back in now.
And we'll use our grease gun and we'll start filling that up and we're gonna see it come out around the edge of the bearing, kind of the same spot it did when we packed it by hand. Now the cap's gonna have a small beveled edge on it, just like the inside of the hub. Just sometimes can take a little bit of work to get it just right and get it in place. So just kind of work around the outside and get it seated. Then you can start applying a little bit more force on it to get it driven on it. Put a little bit more grease in there just to make sure we got plenty. Now we can cap it off. Now we can put our tire back in position and we'll use our new lug nuts. Get those threaded on to hold it in place. We want to snug them down. For these we can use a 21 millimeter socket. Now with our tire torqued down, that's gonna complete our installation of the E-Trailer Trailer Hub and Drum Assembly. Part number is AKHD-865-7-2-EZ-K. Part number is AKHD-865-7-2-EZ-K. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.